Welcome back, folks, yet again. May the force be with you and also with you. Today we've got a Dominaria remastered collector box here. This is a first of uh, for me. This set came out at the beginning of the year in the second uh, paper remastered set, the first being Time Spiral, which that was one of those that I, I sadly missed. I uh, you know refused to pre-order because I uh, got uh, hosed on a, the original Commander Legends pre-ordering it like a month in advance, and then literally the day of release, like you could get it, you know, shipped out that day and arrived by the following day for like five dollars cheaper than what I paid a month prior. But anyway, uh, the point being, the first remastered set with Time Spiral that was a, a pretty popular one, and uh, it was cool having the retro frames and the uh, foil versions of the, <clears throat> those retro frame cards. And uh, yeah, obviously with this, there's also the retro frame foil, which ironically enough, this was right after the uh, the 30th uh, set, 30th anniversary set, whatever that was called, the four packs for $1,000. And I remember it was kind of funny because you can get a retro frame, like foil Birds of Paradise in here that you can actually, you know, play at a tournament. Whereas in that, thousand dollar for four packs if you got a retro frame birds of paradise it is not a legal card so yeah that was kind of interesting but uh yeah honestly i mean this set just didn't have much traction just because there was there's too much there, there's just too much product even ixalan right now i've been wanting to get some packs but you know with black friday and everything it's like i'm you know i'm not gonna miss out on on these deals on these you know other products just to, to pick up some Ixalan now you know it's not worth it there there's just there's so many products out there that uh you know you can only engage uh, with so much without being a complete dimmy all right so stuff i'm looking for obviously force of will force of will is uh is a big one i've never owned any any copy of that card so getting one would be very cool, especially like a full art like borderless one. Uh, there's the tutors in this set. So worldly tutor, I'm definitely looking for vampiric tutor. Um, what is it? Myst is it mystic tutor? The white one. And I guess Gam yeah, gambles the red one, and then uh, is mystic tutor the uh, blue one? Wait. Anyway. You know what I'm talking about. So starting off, oh, gemstone mine full art foil. All right, I mean that's that's pretty cool. All right, triskelion, iconic card, cool cool artwork. Not necessarily. Good. Speaking of iconic cards with cool artwork that aren't worth a shit today, Shivan Dragon, the OG beast monster, Helm of Awakening. This is a card. I remember I bought a, like a list version, what like a year or two ago, for like six or seven bucks. I overpaid. That that shit's not really worth. It. I mean, it's a decent card. Don't get me wrong. Okay, that's kind of cool. A uh, retro frame foil ornithopter, momentary blink, juggernaut. Okay, mounts so similar to the um the Commander Legends, uh, etched. Is that etched foil? Um, that doesn't look like an. Well. Maybe they've done the edge foil. It kind of looks like an edge foil, but then like I just remember with like Modern Horizons 2, you could tell like between the etched and the non-etched by basically looking at the the name, which is a little hard to see on camera, I guess, but like the name doesn't look the way that the etched foils did. But who knows? I mean, it's it's wizards. There's constantly different uh, quality control. All right, Spearmonger and Uncommon. That's cool. Fire Blast. Street Wraith. Ooh, Street Wraith. Nice. I don't think I actually uh, have any copies of a, of a Street Wraith, and now I, I do. All right. Drifting Meadow. Okay. Cool little first pack. Yeah, I mean, outside of some of the big stuff, I uh, don't really know what to expect from this uh, set. So this this is kind of exciting, actually. Because obviously, you know, Dominaria is the, the original. The OG plane. And, uh, yeah, I mean, this is bringing back some memories here. All right. <laughs> All right. Retro frame shooting star 
Maze of Ith Foil. Awesome. That's another card that I've, you know, just never owned a copy of. And here's another card that I've never owned a copy of. What is Arborea? Creatures can't attack a player unless that player casts a spell or put a non-token permanent onto the battlefield during their last turn. All right, I mean, that's not terrible. Woodland Cemetery. Tapped once you control a swamp or forest. And I was actually going to ask, I was wondering what the, um, the land cycle was in this. Because, you know, they did the pain lands in uh, Dominary United and uh, Brothers War. Dancing Sphere. And so I got an island. Okay. And I don't think I mentioned the price yet, so this wasn't uh, Black Friday or the Cyber Monday, but there was a sale within like a week after or something. And I got this for, what was it like? I think 160 after tax. Um, Sulkinar, I recently got him from Dominary United, which it's funny that the new version is worse than the uh, the old version. I mean, it's a pretty underwhelming effect, and you know, Swamp Box not that great, but yeah, the other one is just hot garbage. So, you know, yeah, it's a cool frame, cool new artwork. Chainer Dementia Master, okay. Mind Slicer, all right. Versus Blueprint. Wild Dogs. Wild Dogs is. That's no, not the card I thought it was. Never mind, that's a cool factor fiction. All right, well, that was definitely the most uh, underwhelming uh, out of the packs so far. But, I mean, still, even that, like, that, I would consider that a fairly underwhelming pack, but still four rares. I mean, we've gotten four rares every single time, right? And even Spearmonger, you know, is downshifted, which, you know, I mean, I'm... Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, remember what I was saying about retro frame, foil, birds of paradise? That's what I'm talking about. Oh, what is that? Oh, Mystical Tutor 2? Are you freaking kidding me? Check... Oh, my gosh, look at that. That's beautiful. Beautiful. All right. Let's see if we can get something else right behind that. A gemstone mine. All right, I mean... It's not as good as the full art foil one, or and then Jora. Like, well, who cares? Jumpstart, jank. But uh, yeah. All right, that was a sweet pack. That was a sweet, sweet pack. All right, so yeah, that was a quick shift because, as I was saying, the pack previously was like one of our weakest. Oh, and the Peregrine Drake. This is a card that I've uh, meaning to to pick up a copy of. Uh, frantic. So it's crazy. Just some cards that you never get. Like I got um Commander Masters recently, and I've got an Is It Storm deck, <clears throat> and I didn't have a Fran. You know, I just happened to not have like any copies of Frantic Search, and got one in there. You know, just as a common card, and I was like, damn, dude, this is a pre pretty good card. You know, in any kind of like Storm deck. How did I not have one of these before? But it is what it is. When there's just so much product on the market and you know the number of years that this game has been getting printed because i remember even before they did you know the crazy uh you know fire approach that they have now Ooh, enlightened tutor full art oil all right but yeah this, <clears throat> all right so earlier i was saying like the mystic tutor so the mystical one is the blue one and then enlightened tutor is the white one that i can remember Nut Collector. There I am. Is that our first Mythic? I'm going to have to check that count in a minute. Chainer for the Retro Frame thing and Divine Sacrament. All right. Let me sleeve up some of this stuff. We got Nut Collector. Also, I thought this would be a fairly quick uh, box opening. Now I'm realizing, you know. Being that it's the the OG plane, just making me ramble on about stuff. Or right, I was wondering if Mazabeth was uh, printed at Mythic or not. So yeah, that gemstone mine. The retro frame's cool, but then that's that's really cool. 
All right, so, so far, Nut Collector is our, our one mythic. Just checking, all right. Yeah, I was un unaware that it was going to be four rares per pack. That's that's pretty cool. Yeah, the the way that these uh these collector boosters are arranged, this might be some of my one of the, my favorite ways. I mean, the retro frame cards here, the the foil retro frame shooting star land, and you get some nice foils in the back. And I mean, yeah, really, the commons and uncommons in here, just like a master's product, really. A remastered product, if you will. All right. And what was so the set right? Or I guess Inf Infinity was technically the set right before this, but if you're not counting unsets, then it was Brothers War. The first time there were serialized cards, so that's kind of a, a tough little act to follow. A uh, stroke of genius, yeah, stroke me off. I thought it might have been a force of will, and I got a little, little excited. And that grim lava man, I mean, that's cool art. Lotus bloom. Uh, okay, yeah, is it hardware thing? I don't know. All right, birds of paradise, regular foil. That's cool. I do need a Birds of Paradise. I wonder if the Retro Frame foil one is actually uh, worth anything. Because if it is, I will definitely sell that one and just, just keep this one. Let's see. Can I get that in the sea? Yeah, I got it. Yeah. All right. Halfway through. One uh, Mythic. A little sus. But, uh, you know, again, stuff like Naza Eth. Retro frame foil, maze of Ith, that that was exciting. That was really exciting. If I'm, if I'm being honest. Alright, Enlightened Tutor. Alright, retro frame foil enlightened tutor. So we've got two of these so far. Would have been nice if it was a vampiric tutor instead. Hunting grounds, all right. What is this? As long as seven or more cards in your graveyard, hunting grounds has whenever an opponent casts a spell, you may put a creature card from your hand onto the battlefield. Alright, I mean that's kind of cool. Ooh, overmaster. See, this is yeah, this is a card I've been needing for um what is it? The storm deck that I was talking about. Alright, another nut collector. Not gonna complain about that. I'm not sure if this is considered a bulk mythic or not, but I've always uh liked nut collector, and I don't think I've ever owned a physical copy myself. So he is nuts. And alright, so we got two mythics in that pack. Hunting around and I feel like that's one of the more bulk rares. I don't think that's worth much. Maybe I'm wrong, but yeah, that doesn't really seem uh, all, all, all in all that great. Who knows? All right, Overmaster, I'm going to put him over here because he's he's going straight in a deck of mine. And that is cool new artwork on the Overmaster as well. And really, yeah, the way these packs are designed, I mean, getting that Big first card right after the token. What is it? All right. Did I already get? Okay, I'm going to have to look. Maybe it wasn't a foil one. Ooh, hell yeah. Time stretch. Target player takes two extra turns after this one. It's a cool myth. Epic. Denizen of the Deep. Get out of here, bro. Body Snatcher. Ooh, that's a cool, cool looking high tide right there. Four months, crypt, lull. All right. You know, I'm hating on Denizen in the Deep, but then, like, at the same time, I um, I do have a Serpent Leviathan um, EDH deck, and then so sometimes you do want to return a lot of your creatures to your hand. So... I mean, I still I don't think that's worth a slot. You know, the, there's so many better cards in there that I feel like a lot of the time it's going to end up being a, a dead card in hand. I don't know. There are actually, because there's that one guy who like bounces everything. 
So if you bounce that guy back, you know, it's nice to get that effect again. But I don't know. That's still, that is a bulk rare, my guy. All right, body snatch. Speaking of bulk rares, look like what I just uh, brought into existence. Windborne Muse. Destinate. Oh, my God. Oh, Gamble. All right, cool, cool, cool. I was about to say, I'm going to be really disappointed if uh, because I said that thing about bulk rares. And, uh, all right, cool, yeah. Gamble is uh, a sweet card. Another card that I've uh, been needing for my uh, my storm deck. And definitely a uh, mystical tutor there as well. Oh, which yeah, reminds me. Just wanted to check. So I'm pretty sure the first one was a non foil. Um, yeah, okay. So there was a non foil one, a foil one, and light and tutor. Why did I not sleep this light and tutor? Might as well do just waste more time real quick. There we go. All right. Lotus Bloom. Yeah, I mean, really, this is... I am pretty content. As I mentioned at the beginning, I wasn't entirely sure what I was stepping into outside of Dominaria as the first plane, and I knew it had the Tutors and Force of Will, which, you know, that alone wouldn't be enough to really justify this set, but... You know, I'd seen some things, and I was like, all right, I mean, it seems like there's uh, some de decent stuff, you know, in this set. It's just a like an OG uh, master set. Explore. Ooh, okay. Speaking of cards that I need for decks, that's uh, that's pretty cool. What do we got? <laughs> Speaking of cards that I need for decks, look, look at that. Back to back. That's a <gasps> speaking of cards that I need for decks. Oh my gosh, check that out. Give me one more. <gasps> All right, well, that uh that was the best pack so far. Maybe I'm wrong because I don't know the exact prices on every single thing, but uh wow. And I was wondering, I'm like, where's the vampiric tutor? You know, we we got two each of the mystical and Leiden, which to be fair, a, after the uh, the black one, I think the blue and white ones are. Oh wait, yeah, the red gambles up there too. And, and we're live two. Actually, yeah, I mean, it's a little hard to to rank. I'm not gonna complain about getting too many uh, tutors. Wow, look at that. And, you know, I remember I was uh, disappointed. I had gotten a Yagma from uh, Time Spiral Remastered, you know, also in the retro frame. And I had sold it. And then was like, damn, man. And then, you know, as it goes, oh, here it is again in the retro frame. You know, just the set symbol being different, but otherwise uh, identically exactly the same. Wow. This. This has been awesome. Two packs left is all right. Okay. Two packs left. Can we beat that last pack where literally every single uh, rare mythic was, was fire? <laughs> nope. I mean, I love Arcades, the Defender version, but all right. I mean, that's a cool looking version of Wrath of God, but you know, I mean, Wrath of God's nothing to really write home about. Speaking of stuff not to write home about, and speaking of toxic shit that not to write home about, Zer, you go, go away. Royal Assassin, I mean, he's iconic, obviously, but not, not like I really needed uh, one for any deck in particular. Okay. So, of course, you know, I'm going to get the big. The big uh, pack, and then one of the most mid packs. Again, I mean, just the nostalgia. I mean, Wrath of God and Royal Assassin, iconic uh, magic cards in their own rights. Oh, wow! This is uh, this has been a fun, a fun opening. Probably the best uh, that I've had El since Eldrain for sure. And then before Eldrain, probably like Boulder's Gate or something. But yeah, I'm I'm also curious to to go back. Uh, through these commons and uncommons because I haven't really been looking at them since uh, you know like pack three or four on 
and I mean, yeah, I saw some some goodies for sure in that common uncommon slot that I will definitely need for stuff. All right, I think I I think I just saw the force of will. I'm hoping it could just be another mystical tutor, which I'm not going to complain about that either. Jesus Christ, another enlightened tutor. Right, I'm, I'm going to have to check, but I'm pretty sure I already got the uh, the borderless foil version of that. Absorb, all right. It's a decent enough card. So maybe I did not get a Force of Will. Then Grim Lava Mancer, and all right, Sneak Attack. Uh, yeah, I mean, if this was before uh, Eldrain, that would have been cooler. Oh, yeah, obviously counter spells in this set. S swords to Plowshares, I mean, not going to. Snap. Obsessive Search. Actually, don't think I've seen that card before. Hmm, what the? Oh, no, no. Draw a card. I was thinking that was um, Flashback. Still cool, just not something that can be used in uh, the deck. The Storm deck. That's the one I was thinking of. Ah, yes, words. Words, words, words. Let's do our little mythic count over yonder. So it's looking like five mythics. Uh, oh, no, no, Yogmoth as well. I, thought, I got so excited about, uh, about that one pack that I forgot to, uh, to put Yogmoth aside as a mythic. All right, let's check about that Enlightened Tutor because I'm pretty sure. Okay, so yeah, there's a Yogmoth. So six mythics, that checks. Tomb, that's cool. So yeah, those are yeah, Puric Tutor, Mystical Tutor, Enlightened Tutor, Enlightened Tutor. So yeah, no um what's the name of the card? Worldly Tutor. But I you know I can't obviously be disappointed by uh by these guys here. Alright, so two of those waterless foil mystical tutors. One of the uh, borderless foil, <clears throat> sorry, enlightened to two of the borderless foil enlightened tutors, one of the borderless foil mystical tutors, and a non foil borderless, another enlightened tutor, a vampiric tutor, foil, and a gamble. So, pretty good on that end. Exploration's nice and tomb, two birds of paradise, the two gemstone mines. Yeah, that was pretty sweet. Oh, that, yeah, that was the one comment I was going to make. Speaking of lands, um, yeah, that was our only dual land. Which, I mean, to be fair, yeah, I'm not a huge fan of uh, this uh, this cycle. It's all right. The condition's not that hard to meet, especially in a two color deck. But I mean, you know, it doesn't have the basic land types. So it's just a tap land that doesn't come in as tapped as often, which which is all right in like EDH in certain decks and such, but you know, not really that exciting. Alright, so before I cut it off, just looking through to see if there's anything really cool that I uh that I glanced over too quickly in this uh rare or mythic slot. And no, it seems like everything. Alright, well, friggin' sweet video. Love the one pack with the, the Vampiric Tutor and Tomb, Yogmoth, and, uh, who, oh, was it Exploration? I think Expo yeah, Exploration. So that was freaking cool. Um, yeah, if I can still get a box of this cheap, this is a great set. Just making sure I open up the packs. Yes, I did. All right, cool, cool. Well, I appreciate it, folks. Thanks for joining me on this ride, and I will catch you all next time.